could be to blame for going through Lookout Valley and leaving neighbors left to clean up the mess. Stephanie Santastasi is live there and shows us the damage there. Stephanie. Josh and Latricia, yeah, behind me here, you can see where part of the tree actually fell on this person's house. Theirs wasn't the only one. This storm last night, it also tore down power lines and other trees throughout the area. But this storm, it did one thing. It helped build a connection between neighbors. As the cleanup in Lookout Valley begins, people who live here wonder how this happened so quickly. It lasted 15 seconds. It didn't take much time at all. Rob Vincent's only lived in this neighborhood since December, so he doesn't really know his neighbors. But last night, well, it was nice. I haven't got to meet everybody yet. Just a few neighbors, but last night everybody was outside and we walked around the neighborhood. And as he walked, this is what he saw. Fences smashed, trees split, branches thrown across yards, and this picnic set flipped over on this person's back porch. So it didn't take much. The wind still blowing steadily this afternoon. Linda White recalls what she heard from inside her home. It was just a big crash, like something, somebody hit the side of the house and that was about the end of it. Part of her tree fell onto her neighbor's home. It didn't go through it. As both White and Vincent look at the debris in their yards, they're just thankful it wasn't any worse. And the neighbors down the street here, they tell me that a tree just around the block here actually knocked down some power lines na last night. That knocked out the power in this entire neighborhood. Thankfully, it's been restored. For now, reporting live in Lookout Valley, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. Those are the only reports of damage in our area. Our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, and the South Lake.